Today I will talk about sermons that talk about God's nature and grace to motivate people. Okay? First, Christianity is not just about doing good and obeying God. So in our sermons, don't just tell people what to do. Christianity is about God's goodness and His grace to convert us to become people who delight in God and obey and glorify God all the time. Uh, Christianity is about talking, you know, is about His goodness, God's goodness and His grace to change our lives so that we delight in God and glorify God all the time. So, um, in our message, we should be telling people how good God is to motivate people to, to uh, follow God and, and uh, love God and serve God. And uh, now, some of you misunderstand law to be the Mosaic law. I'm not talking about the Mosaic law. I'm talking about the law in the whole Bible. That means commandments. So, I use this word maybe it's clearer to some people. The difference between God's grace and commandments. Okay, so be, the difference between God's grace and commandments. God's grace is what God does to help and bless us. So, um, for instance, His love, His care for us, His acceptance of us, His gifts that He gives to us, His provision, all these are God's grace. And God's commandments are what God commands us to do. So whenever in a message we say, pray to God, obey God, preach the gospel, love other people, what we do are commandments. And God's grace is what God does. So when we talk about God's grace, it's not talking about what we do. We talk about God's love, God cares for us, God blesses us, God helps us, He accepts us, He forgives us, He gives us salvation. He rewards us. Uh, he gives us motivation. He changes our life. He guides us. All these are His grace. So the big difference is God's grace starts with God. God does this for us. And the commandment is for us to obey. So to love God, for us to love God, obey God, uh, care about people to accept other people, to forgive people, even to worship God, to pray. All these are commandments. And then the Bible contains all kinds of promise of grace to motivate us to love and obey God. So uh, in the Bible, when it tells us what to do, very often it gives us motivation from God's nature and His grace to motivate us. For instance, you know, uh, Jesus said uh, that uh, before you pray, God already knows your needs. So that is God's grace. God knows our needs. And then when we seek first the kingdom of God, all these things will be given to us. So when we seek God's kingdom, all these things will be given to us. He, he will give to us. That is grace. When He does these things to bless us, that is grace. Okay, so I hope you'll uh, all discern what is grace and what is commandment or law. Whenever it says what we do, that is commandment. And whatever it says, God's uh, is work to us for us to bless us. That is uh, grace. Okay, and then motivation for people to change. So how do we motivate people? Uh, to change that God loves us greatly that is the motivation God loves us that God cares about us and then secondly God has made us very precious and has wonderful plans in our life so we God has uh, made us very special we are special people in God's sight and then three we will be greatly blessed by God when we trust in Him obey love obey and serve Him so whenever we follow Him, He is very happy and He will bless us and reward us. And there will be destruction when we sin, disobey God and don't have a close relationship with God. So whenever we disobey Him, there will be destruction. Whenever we are lazy, we don't use our life for God, there will be destruction. So this would give us motivation because of God's love 
and God has made us special and whenever we obey Him, He will bless us. So that mot motivates us to love Him and to obey Him. And then uh, number four here is a reminder and a warning that if we disobey Him, there will be destruction. Okay, so now when we talk about God's nature, uh, these are examples of God's nature. His love, His holiness, His justice, His compassion for us, His care for people. So all this starts with God. That God cares for us. God's ability to understand all people. God accepts us. He desires to bless people. God's ability to transform people. God is prosperous. God owns all resources and blessings and He is almighty and omnipresent, present everywhere. He is all-knowing. He knows everything. He has foreknowledge of everything. He knows everything ahead of time. He is perfect in every area and He has the ability to control everything and He owns all authority <clears throat> and He is wise and He is creative. He is selfless. He, he put down Himself and sent His Son Jesus to die for us. He put down Himself to be humble, to minister to us. He's self-giving. He, he has the ability to plan and manage everything. And then God's grace for us. So just now we talk about His nature. His nature. And then here is His grace. What God does to accept us, love us, bless us, help us, strengthen us, reward us. So God's grace includes His salvation. He loves us. He accepts us. His wonderful plan in our lives. He draws us to believe in Jesus through the work of the Holy Spirit and His Word. And the Holy Spirit continues to work in our lives. And He protects us. He prepares wonderful things in all areas of our life to bless us. He provides for us. He raises our lives to higher levels. He trains our lives and He provides opportunities for us to serve Him and bless others. He remembers our good deeds. He rewards us and He gives us heaven and so on. So all these things He, he does for us to bless us, these are His grace. And then God's law for us, what God commands us to do. To love God, to worship Him, to obey Him to submit to Him, to glorify Him, to delight in Him. So this is what we do. These are what we do to God. And then, to, and then for us, for our life, our own life, to live out God's love and His joy, to have the joy of the Lord, to have peace, to have patience, have kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control, humility, holiness, and to stop any sin. And then what we do to others, to love others, to help others, to accept others, to be kind to them, to preach the gospel to them, to help them spiritually, to pray for them, to forgive them, to build them up, and not to hurt them, to guide them and strengthen them. So this is, these are what we do to others. Now very often in your assignments, I notice that you talk about this most of the time, what we do to others. And I would, what I want you to do and what the, Bible's, what the Bible wants us to do is to talk more about God, how good He is, how gracious He is, how He blesses us, how He strengthens us to motivate us to follow Him. Okay, now when we have God's nature or grace, how can we talk about it? There are four areas, I'm sorry, this should be four. This should be four areas of God's nature and grace. First, God's nature that causes Him to bring His grace to us. For instance, God is a joyful God. So God has this nature Himself. He is a joyful God. And then secondly, God's grace that, gives, that He gives to us. So He gives us, He's a joyful God and He gives us His joy. So His nature and then He gives us His nature. Three, God gives us the anointing to pass that nature to others. That He gives us the anointing to pass joy to others. So this is a, an example of joy. That God Himself is a joyful God. And He gives us joy. And He gives us the anointing so that 
when we pray for people, they can experience joy. When we teach people, they can experience joy. And then four, God appreciates us living out that nature and He helps us to live out that nature and rewards us. So God appreciates us when we uh, live in joy and also when we bring joy to people, when we teach people to be joyful, we pray for people to be joyful, God appreciates that and God will reward us. So these are four areas. So some, sometimes I notice that it's, it looks like you don't know how to talk about God's nature and grace. So these are four areas. First, that He has this nature, whatever it is that we talk about. For instance, love, that God is love. God is peaceful. God is caring. So this is His nature. And then He gives us His grace. He gives us joy and peace and love. He cares about us. He strengthens us. And then three, He gives us the anointing to pass this nature to other people. So we can pass God's joy, His love, His peace, His teaching, His wisdom to other people. We can help people to enter God's plan. And then God appreciates us. And He blesses us and He will reward us. 